Hello again, this is TJ with the PTU Trend Jumper Trading Strategy, netpicks.com. We're going to trade soybean futures. The market is getting ready to open. Uh, we're looking at a five tick momentum range bar. This can move really quick, especially right at the open. We'll see if we can pick up a quick trade or two. And as per our strategy, get into the market, get done with the market, and get out as quickly as we can. We just finished a great session on crude oil, two quick trades uh, for 40 cents. Here we go. All right, so we're off and running here, 1367. Let's see if I can grab that. And I have this set up as a template. And that trade cancels, so we'll get rid of that one. Wait for our next setup. Like I said, the market can move really quick right at the open. But if we can execute the trade, we'll take it. So far, no setup on soybeans. I'm getting ready in case this bar closes up green. We may have a setup. And if it comes, it would be at 1367 and three quarters. And the way I could tell is because it's a five tick bar. And so this bar will close at 1367 and a quarter. That'll give us a long setup. Uh, and that one's going to cancel. So we'll take that off. But you can get a leg up on some of these faster trades when you learn how to anticipate them before they set up. Just got to remember to cancel them if the conditions change, and the conditions are constantly changing moment to moment. We'll see if soybeans wants to head lower. Thirteen sixty-four and a half. We're trying to get to thirteen sixty-two and a half, and our stop is up here at thirteen sixty-six and a half. Order filled. Soybeans is kind of moving up and down. Let's see now if we can get some follow through. Okay, almost hitting our money management level, at which point we'll lock in a tick. Make this a risk free trade. We want to get to 1363 and a quarter. Play these pretty tight. There it is. And we may stop out with one tick. That's the way it goes. But we have a risk-free trade, so the worst case, we cover our commission costs. Best case, we hit full target, and maybe even more. Got the price kind of stuck on this 50 EMA here, and we could expect it to vacillate around before it finally breaks free. It's trying to break free. There we go, one tick shy of full target. Just need to push through. One more tick. Order filled. There it is. So we have a risk free trade. We've taken half our position off at full target, and the rest is gravy. So we'll follow it down. We're going to give it a chance to develop a bit and get some momentum before we move our stop. Now it's really starting to move. And you can see we're waiting for the jump line to catch up to the price action. In case there's a retracement, we don't want to get st bumped out of this trade too soon. And because it's a momentum range bar, it has nothing to do with time. It's purely range, price range. And you can see that the range is breaking lower. So we're just going to be patient. It's tempting to want to grab your profit, but you just got to stay with the plan. Let the trade plan work itself through. And like that, we can pick up some really gigantic moves when they do occur. And that's what we want. And another great winner this morning on heating oil futures as well. It was one and done. That trade just finished. Maybe after this trade, I'll review that one for you so you can see it. Really nice trade. 
All right, we're starting to get some movement here, and this stop's going to move down to 1363 and a half, so I can go ahead and take advantage of that. We're still going to be patient. I realize there's a lot of profit on the table, but that jump line will catch up to the price if it keeps moving lower. Now, if you go in with more positions, you can certainly trail the faster line here with part of your position, and that's a, that's a good option. But I've just got one more contract on the table, and I'm going to go ahead and just let it play itself out. So coming down to 1362 and a quarter, and little by little we're pinching lower. We'll see how this ends. One thing we know for sure is it's going to end well. It's just a matter of how well. And another market that's one and done today with the trend jumper. And we can see that this will move down to 1361 and three quarters. So we'll go ahead and do that. And it's going to move again to 1361. And I'll take advantage of that right now because I know where it's going. And how do I know? Well, the jump line's at 1360 and a half. Two ticks above that. 1361. We want to wait for the bar to close, but because it's a momentum range bar, we know that it will close if it gets to 1360, which is which will make a five tick range, and we can see where the jump line will be. So you want to preempt the move if you if you can, because if it moves too fast, see there it is 1361. It's going to move now to 1360 and a half. So let's go ahead and pinch it down a little further. And you see how that's working out for us? Look at where our stop is now. Just got to be patient because that's how we can pick up monster moves in the market when they do occur. And they do happen frequently enough, especially on a nice trending market like soybean futures. A lot of traders are always asking me, hey, what about the S&P? And... Uh, yeah, that's a hard market because you hit your price, you don't get filled, you have to wait. Wait some more, then it backs off. Now you got slippage and you don't know what to do. You hit your target, you didn't get filled. You end up getting out of the trade without your full potential. And you pay a big cost with that. And I just trade soybeans and pretend it's the S&P. I realize you can't scale up the same. There are plenty of markets to trade. There are ways to, p to trade the S&P, but it's a big commitment, and I personally just prefer uh, this style of trading. I don't want to sweat it. The S&P makes you sweat it. All right, we don't know where this bar is going to close and if we can move our stop down yet, so we're going to wait and see. Looks like it's going to close on the jump line if it's green, which in which case we would not move our stop. So we'll keep it at 1360 and a quarter. Let's see if we can stay in. Maybe 1360 will hold. Order filled. And that's the end of that trade. So soybean futures finish rather easily today. Uh, one and done for us for six and a half points at $50 a point. That's good. That's good for $325 in just eight minutes. And actually, before we finish up this soybean video, I promised I'd show you heating oil. So I flipped back over, wanted to show you how this trade worked out. This is the first trade of the day right here. And you can see the entry at uh, 3.0771. And it quickly zoomed to our full target at 0808. And we also got this really nice runner all the way up to 0839 and you can see the same technique following the jump line all the way up and that was good that one trade for 105 ticks and it literally went from 918 until 941 really great trade and 105 ticks at four dollars and twenty cents a tick so well over 400 bucks in a matter of minutes Thanks for joining me, everybody. Stay tuned and pay attention to the upcoming Trend Jumper release party happening on October 3rd. You'll want to make sure you're signed up for that one. 
and I'll see you on the next video.